To create all service learning opportunities each quarter, we will start by going to the events page in your organization's portal. From here, you will click the Create an Opportunity button on the right-hand side. On the Create an Opportunity form, simply fill out all of the required information. So I'm going to make one for fall quarter 2016. In the description area, here is a good place to let students know if there are any stipulations that you have for working with them each quarter, whether this be a time commitment, specific days that you need assistance, or any other requirements that you have for working with students every quarter. This is also a place where you can direct them to your website, any trainings, or any forms that you would like them to have access to prior to working with your organization. Next, we will go to the date and time. All of the dates should correspond with the dates of the quarter. So for fall quarter 2016, it will be from September 21st until December 3rd. Under repeating, make sure you always select ongoing so that we know that the opportunity is ongoing for the entire quarter. You can also include a location or address for your opportunity, an event picture as well. Underneath participants is where you will select limited number and then select the number of students that you are able to work with for that particular quarter. For all service learning opportunities, you will leave this checkbox blank. However, if this is a general service opportunity, you may request to be included on the Center for Community Engagement list so that your opportunity can be shared with the entire Seattle University community. We will then click Create Opportunity at the bottom of the page, and you will be taken to this list of options. All service learning opportunities should select the first service learning opportunity checkbox. For all general, you will cl click General Volunteer Opportunities. You can save and finish this later if you would like to come back to this. However, if you're ready, you can simply click continue. At this point, you have another chance to edit any of the information that you've included in this opportunity by using the previous button. If you are ready to submit your opportunity to Center for Community Engagement staff, click finish. Your opportunity has now been submitted to the Center for Community Engagement for approval, where we will double check all of the information in your opportunity to make sure that it is correct. You can also use this view event request details button at this time to overview your opportunity and potentially edit any information that you would like to edit. When your opportunity is approved, you will be notified and a notification will show up under your personal profile located here in the top right hand corner and you will see a notification here. If you would like to duplicate an event for the next quarter, simply return to the events tab, click on view ongoing events, Click on the opportunity that you have had set up for the previous quarter, and on the right-hand side in the toolbar, in the gray toolbar, simply click the Duplicate button. This will take you back to your Create an Opportunity form, and then you can revise the dates, and any information that you need to in the description. If you can work with a different amount of students that quarter, you may edit that, and then go through the steps of creating an opportunity again. After clicking Finish, your updated event will be sent to the Center for Community Engagement staff for approval.